So today I will be filming a makeup tutorial on this look that you see right here. I'm going to do my eyes and my full face. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm going to go in with my eye primer. I think I used the... NYX Glitter Primer. Um, you can use whatever one you want. This one just helps my eyeshadow stick really well. And I wasn't sure at this point if I was going to go in with a sparkly um, shadow or a pigment and then smoke it out. So I just went ahead and used this one. So first I'm going to dip into the eyeshadow palette from MAC Cosmetics. It's the Nutcracker Sweet Smoky Eye Compact. Just packing on the lighter gray and nude color to get my base. Now I'm going in with the two dark colors and I'm going to pack that all over my lid. That's the next step. For this step, I'm using my Morphe M433 brush, in case you are wondering. Alright, so now I'm going with my Morphe The Little Palette. And this is Mama Drama. And I'm using the dark gray and black shadow out of this palette. And I'm going in with the exact same Morphe brush that I mentioned before. Gonna keep packing it on and blending it out. That's the key to a smoky eye. I'm going with the black shade just to darken it up. You're gonna see me keep doing this because I want it nice and blended out. I don't want any harsh lines, which I know right now it's messy, but later on I go in and clean it up and shape it to how I want it to be. All right, so I'm just taking this clean Morphe M441 brush and I'm blending everything out, it has nothing on it. Just want to blend everything together. Now I'm mixing both colors again and I'm going back in with that first uh, Morphe brush, the M433, and packing on more of those two colors. It's a process. Packing on that dark color all over my lid and darkening it and just blending it out. And now I'm going back in with the other Morphe brush to keep blending it out. I 
know it takes a while, but I promise it's worth it to keep going on layer by layer. So now I'm going in with that lighter gray out of the MAC palette with that same longer fluffy brush from MAC. Just to lighten it up a little bit and just help blend things out. All right, so I went ahead and took a makeup wipe and cleaned up around my eyes. And now you see what I'm doing right now is sometimes I dip my finger into it and I blend it out and make it look a little bit more smoother and cleaner. It's just easier because I mean, instead of taking a Q-tip, you'll have like a really harsh line. So this way it kind of blends it out and you can't really tell. So, it, and it helps to shape it. So like, like I said, I clean it up. Um, instead of putting like tape on my eyes, I'll just make the line afterwards with my makeup wipe. And then whenever I go in and do my winged liner, I just follow that line and it's so much easier. I'm just going with a brush and touching up certain spots. All right, now I'm gonna go in and do my liner and I'll be using the Kai Cosmetics Black Liner and her brush also. I really love her brush, especially when I'm wanting to wing my liner. So all I do when I wing my liner is I follow like the lower lash line, like imagine that it's extending out and then I will slightly slope it up towards the end because I don't want to make it too high because then it'll look off or like straight out at least not for this look today and then I just connect the line I also like how this eyeliner doesn't smudge. I have a little bit of hooded eyes, especially on my one where I have a scar, and it never smudges on me, unlike a lot of others that I've tried. So if you have that same issue, you might give hers a shot. And now I'm just cleaning up again with the makeup wipes. I had a little bit of mess right there. And now I'm just making my line or my wings a little bit longer because I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara. This is the first time I have tried this mascara actually, and it's okay. I had one on the list, but my sister wasn't sure which one to get because she doesn't really wear makeup or anything. So this is what she grabbed and I actually don't hate it. I really like it for my lower lashes when I do those later on, but it is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. And it's waterproof and it's in the shade black, obviously. So yeah, if you wanna check that out, you might like it. I will say that the brush is really like stubby, it doesn't really have any, like, I don't know how to describe it, but you'd see if you used it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my false lashes, and of course I'm using the Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. And for lashes today, I'm going to use the House of Lashes, the Smoky Muse ones. I already have one on. I love using these lashes whenever I do a smoky eye. It really is perfect for those. And these ones are really comfortable and lightweight, and they're really not that expensive. I don't remember how much this pair is, but most of their lashes that I wear are about $8 or under, and I can wear these tons and tons of times, especially when I take care of them. I'm going in with primer and I am using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 
primer. It's a 12 hour perfecting primer and I absolutely love it, especially when I'm breaking out, as you can definitely see. It really is a great smoothing primer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. So my favorite foundation is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Fairly Light Neutral. It's a little too dark for me, so I mix it with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It's white, so it helps to lighten this foundation. I'm a little too pale for it right now. My spray tan went off, so. That's why I did that, and I'm just putting it on with my beauty blender after I mixed it on my hand. I really love this foundation because it's more of a full coverage than my Makeup Forever foundation. And I love it for when I'm breaking out. It just really does cover up all that stuff. And I gotta get that neck, obviously, because I don't want to have a line there. And usually I go down to my chest, too. I just need a little bit more to get my neck better and cover up my problem areas again. Just to make it a little bit more full coverage. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to and I felt like it today. So yeah, that's what you see me doing right now. All right, so now I'm gonna go with my concealer and I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I love this concealer, it just easily became my new favorite. It really is super full coverage and it doesn't crease on me when I set it, so. And it's a lot cheaper than the ones that I usually use. So if you haven't tried this one out, you definitely should. I'm gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. So now I'm going to set my concealer using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which thank you Influencer for giving me another one. I love this stuff. I went through, this is my third translucent powder. So this stuff's really great. It doesn't leave a white cast on me at all. Alright, so now I'm going in with my MAC Mineral Skin Finish in the shade Light, and I'm putting this everywhere else I didn't put concealer and set my concealer at, just so when I go in and bronze and uh, do like a little bit of contouring, it doesn't stick in certain places better than others. It just makes it easier to blend everything out. So I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and use the shade on the bottom left and contour under my lip, my nose a little bit. And 
And I'm taking the nude shade just to lighten that a little bit. And now I'm going to go in that dark shade again and contour my cheeks a little bit. And then that brush is a little bit too small because I'm not that patient, so I went in with this tart brush that you always see me use. It makes it so easy. So I'm just dipping to the same shade and doing all of that. Basically everywhere where I don't want the focal point, like the outer part of my face. with my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I just have the normal bronzer. I don't have the light one in case you're wondering. And I'm going in with my big fluffy Morphe brush just to put that all over my face. Again, just on the outer part and then a little bit on my neck. All right, so I'm going in with blush and I am using the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Bliss. a nice soft peachy pink I love this color and then for highlight I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and use my fan brush dip into that yellow and goldy champagne shade I'm mixing those and then putting that on my cheeks and then I'm also gonna put it on my cupid's bow and upper lip, and then I'm gonna put it on my nose to highlight my nose. All right now I'm dipping in to the shade MAC Nylon to highlight my uh, eyebrow and my inner corners using my Morphe E36 brush. You don't have to use a shade as intense as this one, obviously. I just love it to be super sparkly and shiny, so that's why I went ahead and used this shade. And I put a little bit more emphasis on my upper lip. All right, now I'm gonna go in and do my lower lash line using that MAC palette, the dark two, the two darkest uh, shades using my BH Cosmetics brush. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a name, but I love this brush. It's kind of like the shape of my Kylie liner brushes, but it's really soft and it's awesome for putting on a shadow on my lower lash line. Now I'm just taking another BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna uh, blend that out so it's not so harsh. go in with my ColourPop black eyeliner and do my bottom waterline. I like this one because it's almost gray. It's not super black, which I thought would be really good for this look because I didn't want it to be super, super black. And I'm just taking a brush and cleaning up whatever fell when I did my lower lash line. Now I'm putting my mascara on my bottom lashes using that same mascara as before. All right. Now I'm going in to do my lips and I used the Kai Cosmetics liner in the shade Smile in the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade O oh Snap. All right, now I'm gonna set my face with the MAC Fix Plus and let that dry. I really just gave myself a shower with how much I sprayed. But that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what else you guys want to see and what other tutorials. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. 
And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.